My agent just told me that my visa has been approved. Yes, coming back to Vietnam. She needs to help me book my flight. Dun, dun, dun. Flight confirmed from Bangkok to Singapore, 12 hour layover or some shit like that. From Singapore to Vietnam. Looks like I'm going home. Now I need to print out all the documents. Fuck, I need to pack. But yeah, I'm about to go to sort out the COVID test. So I'm doing final checks and check out what I find in my fridge. Look how many packets of ketchup, chili sauce and all the sauces. Oh my God, there must be about 60 packets there. Fuck it, I'll just leave it for the landlord. He can sort it out. <laughs> the day has arrived. I'm leaving Thailand. Woo. I'm all packed. Got some boxes here. Some bags here. Look at all this shit though. Four boxes. Three bags and a skateboard. Got about 70 or so kg. Oh my God. This is gonna take a couple of trips to even get downstairs, but this is it. All right, let's get the show on the road. Luggage is now downstairs, so let's get the fuck out of here. Hello, I have a lot. <laughs> okay, perfect, thank you. Uh, yeah, quick as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fill the van up. Everything okay? Yes. Yeah, cool. So all the things will be loaded, right? Yes, all the things will be loaded apart from my bag, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I just checked in. I was actually 15 kgs over, but luckily the staff at Singapore Airlines allowed me to waive off the charge, which was great, it saved me some money. The airport is relatively dead, as you would expect. It's got about two hours until my flight comes, because I decided to check in three hours early. Was that a good idea? Go to Singapore for this 12 hour layover. Hopefully I can find a hotel, have a good sleep and then Vietnam tomorrow. The return of the prodigal son. Yeah. Good name for the video, food. Just got through security. Thank you. Thank you. The 
been at Singapore Airport for about, I don't know, an hour. We are confined to this area. I thought originally that I could book a hotel, but that's not happening. And everybody in this terminal is just sleeping everywhere. I got lucky and actually found this couch. I even saw someone pitch a tent, which is pretty cool. Should have been more prepared. Uh, we're surviving off vending machines. I got here at around about 9.30 and my flight is at 9.30 in the morning. So there's 12 hours to kill. What the fuck do we do? Luckily, there's a smoking area. COVID traveling is weird. Anyway, I think I'm gonna call it a night. Just try to get some sleep. Holy fuck, made it. After more than 24 hours on that journey, I'm gonna take this off. So let's talk about the way we got here. So you land in Ho Chi Minh, so you scan the QR code, and then you show proof of your COVID test that you're negative. The second hurdle is getting your visa. If you're a Vietnamese national, then you don't need to do that. You can just go straight to immigration and get out. And he doesn't take your money at first. He actually doesn't say much to you. It's like he tried not to speak to people. He just kind of waves you, tells you to sit down. Because I've been in Thailand so long, the mannerisms for him to just wave me and point for me to sit down, I found that actually quite rude, but I've been away for about a year and a half. So maybe I just need to get used to it, whatever. No points there for customer service. But I like how they fast track you. Just sit down, I'll do the paperwork, and then I'll get you out. He calls your name 10, 15 minutes later, depending how many people are there. You pay the 25 bucks. You go to the immigration, they stamp your passport. It's pretty damn quick. Good thing is they've already loaded all your bags off the belt onto the floor. Go to another line, you tell them what hotel that you're staying at, show them the paperwork. Your driver should be waiting for you there. You put on your blue sort of hazmat suit. Shout out to hazmat and yeah they rush you onto the bus then you go into the hotel then you're gone nothing to complain about because now i'm here 14 15 days 15 days here Shit. and now we relax it's not bad is it all right peace